Hey guys. So today we're going to look at Mexican pesos and I'm going to show you how to do a quick uh, down and dirty conversion in your head and so you don't need a calculator. This is going to be a very accurate but rough estimate. It might be um, pennies off, maybe even up to 40 cents off, uh, but when you're talking about um, major dollars here, it, it, I mean it's close enough, right? You just want to make sure that whatever you're buying is, is worth it. Um, if you want an exact conversion, you're going to want to go ahead and get yourself a calculator or a cheat sheet. And the reason why I say that is because today one U.S. dollar is worth 20.16 pesos. So at trying to do division with a .16 is uh, very difficult in your head. So we're just going to forget about it. Um, we're just going to do a 1 to 20. So one U.S. dollar to 20 pesos, right? So let's take a look. What is a peso? So low pesos um, or small amounts of pesos come in coin form. This is one peso, which is worth about five cents. So one of their peso dollars is worth five cents. Here is a two peso coin, so it's worth ten cents. Here is a five peso coin worth a quarter and this is a one peso coin actually excuse me it's ten pesos this is a ten peso coin their dollars or their paper money folding money as my dad would call it start with a twenty which again is one US dollar uh, I don't have a twenty so I can't show that to you but then the next is a fifty they look like this, and they are have the see-through section, which is very cool. Then you have a 100, a 200, and a $500 bank note. Interestingly, they're different sizes. The bills come in different sizes, so the 50 is smaller denomination and in size, right? Alright, so let's get to it. How do we do this conversion in our head? So it's really easy keeping in mind it says US $1 to 20 pesos, right? So what we're going to do is say we have a th something that costs a thousand pesos. The first thing we're going to do is drop the last number. Ignore it. Get rid of it. Think about it as a hundred, divide it by two, which would equal fifty dollars. So something that costs one thousand pesos is fifty US dollars. Okay? So let's try three hundred pesos. Drop the last zero, you got thirty, divide by two equals fifteen. So 300 pesos equals 15 US dollars. Let's try, I don't know, 20. We know that that equals one US dollar, but let's use the same formula, okay? So 20, we get rid of the last number, divide two by two equals one dollar. So that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. So if you see something that's uh, worth like 243 pesos, get rid of the 3, divide the 24 by 2, and you get what? 12. 12 dollars. So this will hold true as long as the peso is uh, 1 peso to 20, I mean 20 pesos to 1 US dollar. Um, if it was 1 to 10, you would just divide this by half. Um, but if you get down to like, you know, 1 peso equals like $18, then you can still use this math, but it gets a little more complicated. Or um, your rough estimate will just be rougher. But, you know, when you're looking at 300 pesos, $15, um, that's pretty easy to do. And you're in the ballpark. 
So you just really, if you want to make sure you're not getting ripped off for something you're trying to buy and you want to just know what the price is, quickly convert it. This is how you do it. Math is really easy. It's pretty straightforward. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, this is just a really basic primer. It's March of 2022, and again today, uh, one U.S. dollar equals 20.16 pesos, and we're using 1 to 20 as our math, and all you do is take the whole number, get rid of the last digit, divide that by 2, and that's your U.S. dollar amount. So... There you have it. Let me know if you have any questions.